Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about something called frog butt crested geckos. Now, um, if you've never heard that term before, it is a special name given to certain kinds of crested geckos that have had something happen to them. And uh, let's see if you can figure out what that is. Yup, frog butt is the name, is the kind of funny name given to these guys whenever they lose their tails because it kind of looks like the rear end of a frog <laughs> so yeah like a frog they have that little bump that little tailbone right there that kind of sticks out so yeah these guys um, unlike a lot of geckos out there they cannot regrow their tails if they drop them and a few reasons why they might drop their tails is if they get overstressed. They may just uh, drop their tail without it being touched or anything. You might just find it in your cage one day if they're a little stressed out. Um, they can also lose it if you yank on their tail too hard. Um, yeah, I mean, usually they'll let you touch their tails and stuff and they'll kind of use them to hang on to like branches and stuff, kind of like a prehensile tail. But uh, if they feel like it's being grabbed or like they're being attacked by a predator, they will drop those tails. So something that kind of freaks people out when these guys drop their tails is that the tails will move after they drop them. Um, those are just leftover nerves in the tail that make it twitch around and stuff. Um, in the wild, when they drop their tails, if a predator comes after them, that tail twitching and everything, that attracts the predator to the tail so that the crested gecko can escape. So while they're busy eating the tail, this little guy would get away. Losing the tail, it doesn't hurt these guys. They can live perfectly fine without the tail. As you can see, it heals up really nice into that cute little frog butt right there. Now, if your crested gecko loses its tail, don't panic first off. Just clean out the stump uh, with some water, just give it a nice flush, and then go ahead and treat it with some uh, Neosporin or other antibiotic ointment, and that'll help it heal up more quickly. There's actually a scientific name for when they drop their tail. It's called caudal autotomy. And caudal means of the tail, yeah, so the tail region. And then the autotomy is just the part of uh, dis disattaching the tail. So I'm going to go over a few of the different lizards that we have here that actually can regrow their tails. These are leopard geckos. Now, uh, they can regrow their tails if they break off. Um, except the, the new tails don't always look as nice as the old tails and everything. They look a little different as far as how they regrow. Um, and they're usually a little bit shorter and stumpier. But yeah, these guys, if they do drop their tails, they will regrow. The only time they wouldn't regrow is if, you've, if he's already dropped his tail at a certain point and it breaks below that point. Um, if it broke below a certain point, then it wouldn't grow back. But as long as it breaks like higher than the previous point, then it does. So another example of a species that can regrow its tail is the Bahaman anole. If you look closely at this guy, you can see that tiny little bit at the end. That is a brand new bit of tail that grew back. So he lost it at that point, and then it regrew from there. So he didn't lose too much, but you can see that it is regrowing. It, you can notice that it lacks some of the, it's a more so, it's a much more softer skin. It doesn't have as much of the scaling and stuff as the, pre, as the tail, part of the tail behind it. So yeah, that is a pretty good view of what it looks like when they regrow. And as far as the species that can't regrow their tails, like the crested geckos, bearded dragons, if they do end up losing part of their tail, it will not grow back. It might heal up into a nice little stub, but it cannot actually grow any more of the tail back. Another example of a lizard that can't grow the tail back is the chameleon. For these guys, it's pretty bad when they lose their tails because they really need that tail for holding on to branches and stuff, as you can see here. It really helps them climb around and everything. So, I mean, they can lose a little bit of it, but if they lose too much, then they can't grab on very well and their climbing is kind of hindered. So, 
they can climb around just fine on their feet and everything. It's just that to if they fall or something, they don't have that tail to catch on to anything. So, yep, just like the Cresties, these guys cannot grow their tails back. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video kind of about uh, kind of the science behind these, uh, the crested geckos you see at our store that don't have tails and kind of learn about the different ones that can and can't grow their tails back. So we'll see you all later.